hail all my friends and subscribers out there. It's Peter back for another video. Today is the day where I'll review the new ACDC album, Power Up. Released, of course, November 13, 2020, of course. Um, I have no physical copy at this point because I pre-ordered the vinyl, which will arrive in a couple days. I haven't got the CD. I'm just going to... I've heard the album... Um, three or four times in full on YouTube. So I'm going to go by that. Um, I like a bit more time to um, absorb the album, but everyone's putting up reviews, so I thought I'd do uh, a review. So here we go. So I've heard a few, heard it a few times, and I'll just go through the tracks. It clocks in at 41 minutes, and it's produced by, of course, Brendan O'Brien, who's done the last two albums, Black Eyes and... Um, so Rock or Bust and Black Ice. 12 tracks, as I said. As I said, 41 minutes in length. Um, most of the tracks, like in the three-minute range, I think one song is just over four minutes and one just under three minutes. So they're all about the same length, which is fine by me. They, um, that's, that's awesome. Um, <clears throat> it sounds great to me, this album. Um, Brian is awesome. Brian sounds amazing on this album. Uh, he sounds rejuvenated and um, he rested and he just, he just, um, oh, he's just awesome. He's a, you know, he's in his seventies now. He just sounds awesome. Uh, the band is tight, you know, Stevie Young, you've got, a of course, Angus and Cliff and Phil. <clears throat> and, you know, they're, for a band which is, you know, in the twilight of, of the career, you could say, I guess, um, really good. But we'll go through the songs, and um, they are Realise, Rejection, Shot in the Dark, which is the single, the first single. Realise was the second single. Uh, Through the Mists of Time, Kick You When You're Down, which is spelled Demon Fire, Wild Reputation, No Man's Land, Systems Down, Money Shot, and Code Red. Starts with Realise, the second single. I like this a lot. <clears throat> Got a good groove to it. They pump it out real well. Uh, a, a, a good start to the album, a fine song. A good choice for a single, I think. I think it's a pretty good song, really. But the second song I like better, Rejection. Um, I really like this one. I think... Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um... It just appeals to me a bit more than the first song. I like Realise, but I just prefer Rejection. Um, this is the song that is touch over four minutes. A real good rocker. Brian is in. Brian, is his voice is great on this. And, and yeah, just, just an awesome second, uh, the so awesome song from the album. Then we get the first single, which I did the video for, Shot in the Dark. One of my favourites on the album, even after hearing the whole album. Um... Very catchy track. The video is good. And yeah, very, um, uh, one, of, one of the high points from the album for me, even though, yeah, as I said, I've heard the whole album. Then we get through the mists of time. This is a bit different. This is a great song. Um, I don't know, just some, it's got a feel to it. It's got a mood to it. Something about it. And uh, it's catchy. I think it'll. I think this could be a, a big song from the album. To tell you the truth, I, I really love this one. Through the mist of time, and it's a bit. In a way, it's a bit melancholy too. I find, and yeah, it, um, yeah, just um, yeah, real, real good song, real good song. Kick you when you're down is just a <clears throat> a basic rocker, decent track. I don't mind it. Decent track. Witcher's Spell is better than that song, I feel. Witcher's um, <clears throat> got a better uh, better feel to it. Really like Witcher's Spell. Demon Fire is one of the strongest on it. That's the next song. Um, uh, he starts with the... Johnson starts with a different vocal style at the front of the... at the start of the song. Then go to his usual um, hard rock vocal after that. But it's quite a catchy track. It's one of the more catchy songs on the album for me. Um, Wild Reputation, <clears throat> I would consider that a decent track. Uh, pretty, pretty decent. As 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 I'm talking, like there's no real bad stuff on here. 
Um, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of great stuff and a lot of decent stuff as well. No man's land's quite good. Um, good rocker like that. Good. Uh, good Johnson vocal again. And Angus's guitar work on this album is very is excellent as well. Fantastic. And on the next one, Systems Down. He's he's unleashed a bit. A great, a great. Uh, he plays great on this, and the guitar part is awesome in this song. And that is a strong song too. I think Systems Down is one of the more stronger songs from the album. Uh, then we got Money Shot. Uh, quite like that one. Yeah, it's a decent, uh, very good track. And the last song, the last song, Code Red, uh, could wind up being one of the best songs on the album as well. It's, it's really got something to it. It's got a bit of meat to it and um, real, a real good closer. It's a great closer, actually. It's a good pick for a good closer. And, um, yeah, that that is the one of the uh, the strongest songs on the album. So all in all, a very, very good album from them. I think it's better than Rock or Bust, um, to tell you the truth. It's better than the last album. Um, better than Black Ice. It's on par with Black Ice. Might be a touch better, but I've only had a few listens. I'm gonna get my. I'll get my vinyl uh, during the week and I'll pump it out a bit more. But I've been playing it as I said on YouTube. But uh, I'll give a score out of ten in a minute. This is after three or four listens on YouTube. So everyone's been, as I said, been pumping out the reviews. So I thought I'd do one um, limited time. You know, three or four listens. But um. And I'll just pick a favourite song at this point, this early stage in the game of, because the album's just come out, of course. But look, it's a great out. It's a great album. Um, this late into their career, I think, I think they may have eclipsed the last two albums. It could be, would I go so far as to say the best? I've, I've heard a pe couple of people say the best since Flick of the Switch. It's it's nearly the, it's nearly at that point, I think. It could be. I need a few more listens, but I really like the album. I think it's a very good album. Um, my favourite, I'll just give one favourite. My favourite song at this point, and it's going to be a big song from this album, I think. It should be anyhow. Through the Mists of Time. Great song. Great, great song by them. And there's many others too. Demon Fire, Shot in the Dark. A couple of um, songs that probably will grow on me a bit more, but initially five or six popped out at me as, as excellent tracks. So there you go, guys. Through the Mists of Time I Go is my favourite song on the album at this point. Um, a rating out of 10 at this early stage. I'm going to give this a solid eight. I think that's a good score for it. A solid eight out of 10 for me. Um, as if it, they've surpassed the last album or maybe surpassed the last two albums as far as the quality of the album goes. It's got a good sound to it, got good groove in places, got some great great songs mixed into the, the bunch. The producer's done a great job on it, uh, Brendan O'Brien, and um, it'll be good to hear these songs, you know, in in the um, once this COVID stuff has settled down, which it is a bit, in the life setting, it'll be nice to hear some of these songs thrown into the um, set list. But there you go, guys. An 8 out of 10 for me. What do you think of it? Um, that's only after a few listens. So that could rating could go higher. But I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 at this point after just a few listens. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review. Go get it. It's an excellent album. You'll enjoy it. There's some great stuff songs on there. And um, that's it for me for now. Hope you enjoyed the review. And comment down below and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.